about this next story in your news feeds, I'm sure you have. A local nonprofit is inviting swimmers to take a dip in the Anacostia River next month. It's the first time this has been allowed, by the way, in more than 50 years. Now, we've got more details on how to participate in just 60 seconds from now. But first, let's verify if the Anacostia River is actually cleaner than it used to be. Our sources are the District of Columbia, Anacostia Riverkeeper, and the Anacostia Watershed Society. Environmental regulators use several different factors to decide if a river is safe for things like fishing, drinking water, and swimming. Now, when it comes to swimming, Washington, D.C. looks closely at E. coli levels. Activities like swimming were banned back in 1971 because of bacterial contamination caused by sewage overflow. But the Anacostia Watershed Society's latest annual report shows that its cleanliness in that regard has trended up for a couple of decades. The group only gave it a score of 55, though, where 100 would be safe to swim in at all times. Anacostia Riverkeeper says sewage system improvements have dropped sewage overflow by 80 percent. In its testing over the last two years, the river's water quality has met the contamination standard 90 percent of the time. So we can verify, yes, the Anacostia River is safer than it used to be. Okay, so if you were a no before, maybe that changed your mind. The swimming event is the Anacostia River in the Anacostia River. It's called Splash, by the way. So mark your calendars. It's happening next Saturday, July 8th, top from noon until 3 p.m. You'll be able to swim right off the Cayman Island dock next to the Benning Road Bridge. A ticket gets you a free 20-minute swim. How about that? Okay. Uh-huh. Sound interesting? Sure. We posted details on how to get one on our website, WUSA9.com.